So this is the war leader, also known as the WL. So let's have a look at his stats. He has the most health of everyone, even though uh so So this is the war leader of the of the races, also known as WL. So let's have a look at his stats. He has the highest health of everyone. Not bad damage, not bad uh, power at all. Not bad armor either. So the damage, however, was quite a surprise for me. Because being the tank class that he is, I expect him to have more melee attacks. But uh, he is mainly a, a healer. I should have really known. But uh, but yeah, he's mainly a healer and also a buffer and a debuffer. His power, like I say, is not too bad. His armor is the best of everyone. He's got not so good avoidance. And he's got quite a good uh, resistance. So here's the other stats if you really want to take a look at them. So let's have a look at his skills. Okay, so he has some uh, buffering skills. Let's get rid of that. Okay, so he, so he has a uh, crack the whip, which adds around a thousand morale, and it's usually about a thousand. It says here plus nine hundred seventy point three, but um, you know I usually get about a thousand out of it. So that's a lot of health, really. So uh, it also has a cost of 83 power, cooldown of 4 seconds, and a 7.5 range. So you can either click on an ally to heal them, or you can click on yourself, or you can not click anything or click on yourself to heal yourself. On your feet is a radius type skill, a radius of 20 meters, and it basically rege it revives up to 5 allies. And targets revive with 25% morale and 25 power. So they don't come back at full health, but they come back. It costs 95 power, killed out of 7 minutes. Mobilize is an um, induction of 0 0.5 seconds. But basically it's better than March, and it also affects your allies. It's a uh, plus 35% out of combat speed. It costs 155 power and cooldown of 5 seconds. However, you are unable to evade, parry and block. You've got Aura of Command, which when you activate that, it, co it, um, it adds 25% melee damage and also, slows da also speeds up everyone's attack duration. So that's quite good. Um, costs 75 power and cooldown of 5 seconds. March, everyone has it, don't need to explain that. Um, now this is a bot skill, so I'm not going to go through that, but it's basically a healing skill. So, yeah, so we've got okay, so we've got two melee attacks, one's called Cleave, does three hundred and fourteen approximate common damage, cost six to two power, cooldown of four seconds, fracture. This is a interrupting induction skill, so if anyone's casting a spell and it costs them 5 seconds to cast, you can do that and it'll stop them from casting it. Also it does 423 common damage, cost 113 power, cool that of 10 seconds. It has one range skill at the moment, which um, is um, Intimidating Shout, is at 20 meters range, which is not all that good. But um, it does 423 shadow damage, cost 62 power, apply to target on critical and devastating critical. So if you get a critical hit or a devastating critical, it'll add another effect, which will last 10 seconds, which basically slows down your target by 40%. There's his passive abilities besides this rank down here. But yeah, that's about it. Um, the disappointing thing about this class is it is fun, but he is, he is definitely a support class, which I had, um, I thought he'd be more of a, more of a in-your-face melee skill. Just, he's got the health for it, but he just doesn't have the damage for it, which is quite bad. Quite, the damage is quite bad, and doesn't really have enough skill. Many a times I've been, I've performed these three skills to, um, attack with. And there's not been one ready yet to just wh whack in another attack. So I have to do a few normal attacks, which are quite boring. Um, here's the Aura of Command in action. So I does that, and everyone around him gets some damage. 
this is mobilize but yeah it's quite a it's quite a fun class um oh one thing about um about this one which is a bought skill you have to be in a group for it to be to have its full effect but basically anyone in 20 meters radius gets plus a thousand health however if you're not in a group i don't think it works and work on yourself and work everyone in a group but say if, you know there's 20 people around you it's not going to heal them all it'll only heal whoever's in a group or a raid but yeah it's um it's quite a good class as long as you really use them as a support but um it can take the damage but not really give it out but that's the uh, war leader so i hope you enjoy him